Now that we've learned about the default theme and the design tokens, in this video, we're going to refactor the code for our UI using these theme tokens. So first, we'll be refactoring our header components, and we are in header.csx. The first thing we want to focus on is the heading and the text. So instead of font width, check how UI allows you to pass an extra bold value. So 800 is the same thing as extra bold. Also, for our font size, make it as 5 extra large. This translates to 3 rem, which is 48 pixels. Now, let's go to text. Font width here is 500, so make this medium. We factor font size by putting 2 extra large here. This is the same thing as 24 pixels. Now, let's go into spacing. Padding bottom here. We factor this by dividing our pixel value by 4. We're going to get that as 28. For our inner box, 90 pixels and 198 pixels do not have a design token. So it's fine to leave them as they are. Our padding X will make it 8. Remember, all of these values do not come with a unit. Then our padding bottom will make this 4. So let's see what we have so far. We can see that everything still stays the same, right? Even with our design tokens that we just switched. Finally, let's change the color. At the moment, this color represents gray.50 on Chakra UI colors. So we're going to put gray.50 here, which is the color of the text. And we see that remains. Likewise, our background color, instead of having this hex code value, we can make this purple.600 which is really the same exact color, so we check it. Next, let's refactor our feature component. So go into feature.csx. We'll start with our feature component at the top here. Spacing right now is just 24 pixels, but let's switch that to 6. Also, box size, we're going to make that 12. And we see everything stays the same. 18 pixels represents a large font size. You can always cross check all of these values with the theme documentation. And finally, font width, we're going to switch this to bold. Going down to features, there are a couple of things we need to switch. For example, padding button becomes 8. On each stack, our horizontal padding px becomes 12 and the spacing becomes 5. And if you're wondering if you always need to switch out the CSS values to the default theme tokens, um, I would say it's not entirely compulsory, but it makes it easy to maintain consistency in your code base, especially if you want to customize your theme object. So instead of going into all of these files to change these values, you can just change it once when creating your theme, and that's it. I'll leave the pricing component as an exercise for you to refactor. So go ahead to pause this video and follow the same steps as above to refactor this pricing component. To confirm what you have, check out the source code in the GitHub repo or the code sandbox for this project. In the next lesson, we'll look at how to handle responsiveness in Chakra UI. See you there.